Welcome back to Infijan, my dear friends, in this very exciting and powerful video of algebraic challenging equations. Today we are going to take up 1 plus 1 over x power 7 equal to 1 plus 1 over x whole power 7. So let's get it started. First we will conclude few things. x cannot be 0 because x is in the denominator, it cannot be 0. Then once I will take LCM of this equation, then I will write x power 7 plus 1 over x power 7 and right hand side I will write x plus 1 whole power 7 over x power 7 as x is non-zero. So we can cancel these two terms. Now you can see once I will write this one x power 7 plus 1 equal to x plus 1 whole power 7. Once I will expand my RHS. so x power 7 would be the leading term, highest degree term. And left hand side we have got x power 7. Conclusion is 6 solutions are possible of this equation. 6 solutions only. Now out of those 6 solutions, x is equal to 0, this solution is exempted. So overall 5 solutions are there in the original equation. Okay. Now let's get started. I will use Pascal triangle because of expansion power 7 is required. So let me draw first 1 1 1 2 1 1 3 3 1 1 4 6 4 1 1 5 10 10 5 1 1 6 15 20 20 15 6 1 and this is our row that is 1, 7, 21, 35, 35, 21, 7, 1. So our coefficients for expansion, let me write here 1, 7, 21, 35, 35, 21, 7, 1. Okay, these are our coefficients of expansion x plus 1 whole power 7. Okay, now let me write x plus 1 whole power 7 equal to x power 7 plus 1. Let me write here whole power 7 equal to x power 7 plus 1. Okay, uh, I need to write that 1, 7, 21, 35, 35, 21, 7, 1. Okay. So let me expand LHS. So I will write x power 7 plus. Let me club 7 and 7. Let me club 21 and 21. And let me club 35 and 35. So how it would be? Let me write here. Okay. So x power 7 and the last term. This is done x power 7. Now last term that is 1. Let me write here first. Now I will write 7 common. So in bracket I would write x power 6 plus x. Now I will club 21 and 21 then I can write 21 common x power 5 plus x power 2. Let me put over one line and plus third term that is having coefficient 35 I will write x power 4 plus x power 3. Simple way. See power summation should be 7 always. So once you will write like this you will cancel x power 7 plus 1 from both sides. Okay. Now see what we can take common. Obviously 7x is common. Let me take 7x common. I will write in the bracket x power 5 plus 1. See if I will take x power 5 7x common then x power 5 plus 1. So let me write x power 5 plus 1. Now 7 21 is there. x is square from the bracket. So I will write 3x outside. In bracket I will write x cube plus 1. Now you can see 35 term is there. So I will write 5 and see x cube is common. So I will write 5x square. In bracket what I will write x plus 1. Just check this out. And right hand side I will write 0. Done. Now let us consider uh, simple expansion of this curly bracket. I will write x power 5 plus 3x power 4. This term is x power 5. 
from here I will get 3x power 4. Then from this term I will get 5x cube. Okay. Then I will write a square term. So from this one I will write 5x square. Then I need to consider this one that is 3x and last term is only constant 1 and right hand side is 0. Now you can easily pick one solution straight away. See the coefficients. It is 1, 3, 5, 5, 3, 1. So it looks like it is making our reciprocal equation. So better is to consider, see I can write x is equal to minus 1. Let me put x is equal to minus 1 over here. So minus 1 plus 3 minus 5 plus 5 minus 3 plus 1. See 3 minus 3 everything will be over. That means that means this is x is equal to minus 1 is base solution for this quintic polynomial, quintic equation. So let me consider here 7x times I will write x power 5 plus 3x power 4 plus 5x cube plus 5x square plus 3x plus 1 equal to 0. As we discussed x is equal to minus 1 is one solution. So I will use x is equal to minus 1. I will use synthetic division. Write all the coefficients of quintic equation 1, 3, 5, 5, 3, 1. Okay, I will put one line over there. Let me write here SDM, synthetic division method. 1. So 1 leading coefficient as it is 1, minus 1 times 1, minus 1, 2, minus 1 times 2, minus 2, 3, minus 1 times 3, minus 3, 2, minus 1 times 2, minus 2, 1, minus 1 times 1, minus 1, 0. Here we are having coefficients for quartic equation. Let me write that x power 4 plus 2x cube plus 3x square plus 2x plus 1 equal to 0. Now this is obviously it is looking like 2x square 3x square is pi word term and it is reciprocal equation. So what we will do as you can see x not equal to solution of this equation. So we can divide this equation with x square divide with x square, x square, x square, x square. Now you will write this term will be x square, last term is 1 over x square. This term is second term of the quartic equation is 2x. Second last term of this quartic equation is 2 over x and the, this middle term is 3 equal to 0. Now you can easily see once I will write x square plus 1 over x square plus 2 times common x plus 1 over x plus 3 equal to 0. Now it is very very simple task to find out as x. Let's find out. Let me consider x plus 1 over x is equal to a. So let us consider. I will write x plus 1 over x is equal to a. So our equation will become a square minus 2. How it is? See x plus 1 over x is equal to a. Take whole square both sides. Consider whole square. So I will write x square plus 1 over x square plus 2 is equal to a square. So x square plus 1 over x square value will become a square minus 2. So that's why I have written here directly a square minus 2 in place of x square plus 1 over x square. Remaining is 2 times x plus 1 over x that means a and constant was 3, 0. Now frame equation a square plus 2a plus 1 equal to 0 and this is one expansion a plus 1 whole square. So no need to solve quadratic using formula. Now a will become minus 1 and minus 1. So a is negative 1 with multiplicity 2. Now let us put the value of a. a was x plus, see it is written over there. Let us write x plus 1 over x 
is equal to negative 1. Multiply with x. x square plus 1 is equal to minus x or x square plus x plus 1 equal to 0. Now this is very familiar equation for us. Let us apply quadratic formula. Let us apply. So I will write x is equal to minus 1 plus minus under the root b square. So 1 is square minus 4 is c. So minus 4 and divided by 2a. a is 1. So 2. Now minus 1 plus minus i root 3 over 2. So this is our value of x. Now you can see both solutions are complex reminding us cube root of unity omega and omega square. So both terms are both values are there omega and omega square. Conclusion is because of we are having a minus 1 with multiplicity 2. So these complex solution will have multiplicity 2. So this is we are in four solutions are here and one solution that is x is equal to minus 1. So let me write four solutions. And one solution is x is equal to minus 1. These complex solutions are having multiplicity 2. I hope this video will be meaningful to you. One thing is still missing x is equal to 0. What about that? It would be in the restricted list. x equal to 0 is not possible. So we will restrict this. We won't consider. Overall, five solutions are four solutions complex numbers and one is real solution x is equal to minus 1. I hope this video will be meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care.